So I get asked all the time to explain uncivilized vitality in a, in a quick manner. So I'll try to do that while I'm walking. A good, a good way to go about it is to think about Plato's allegory of the cave. So Plato, uh, student of Socrates, came up with this idea to explain uh, forms and uh, the physical world. And he said, imagine, let me stop for a second, check that out. He said, imagine that uh, people are chained in a cave. So they're chained in such a way that they can't see each other or out of the cave, they can only face forward and look at the, the wall of the cave in front of them. Between the people chained in the cave and the cave entrance, there's a fire burning, so it casts shadows on the wall. Now the people in the cave are only looking at the shadows on the wall, so to them, that, that's reality. They don't know anything else. Now imagine one day, one of them uh, is set free or escapes or manages to get loose and gets out of the cave and he's dazzled by the sunshine and at first that's really difficult for him to deal with. Uh, but eventually he sees like, oh, there is way, way, way more to reality than the images we've seen on the walls. Of course, he goes back in the cave and tries to tell the others, but um, ironically, a lot of them won't go with him because they don't believe him because all they've ever known is the reality of the shadows on the wall. So uncivilized vitality is like that. That was my cave allegory, is we've been civilized. Uh, human society shouldn't operate this way. It's not reality. The uh, civilization process is, is nothing but the sophistry and illusion of psychopaths. They forced us into these civilized hierarchies when we're really supposed to be a social animal that operates in uh, networks, social circles, right? We can explain that more. So uncivilized vitality is a program of helping you get out of the cave. I guess it'd be a deprogram because I'm trying to deprogram you. This is difficult to think about because if all you've ever known is civilization, the living in the cities, you know, for a swamp, that's pretty cool. Living in the cities uh, and you're, you're forced into these hierarchies by the, the elites that, that get the most benefit from civilization, you don't realize that human society is different than you've been led to believe. So uncivilized vitality is a program or deprogram I created to help you become less civilized, help you get out of the cave. And um, it's made up of three parts. So the first part is you need to be as healthy and happy as possible. Civilization and civilized living is not conducive to health or happiness. So we have the five vital paths. Movement, nourishment, restoration, whoop, hygiene, and community. These aspects, well, I'll show you why I slipped. Look at that mud. So these aspects of living need to be improved. We call those the five vital paths, right? And we have, we have advice on each of those paths to help you improve that aspect of your life. You know, as you go out in the cave, out of the cave, start living like a true human, it's gonna be a little difficult at first if all you've ever known is drugs and surgery and depression and anxiety and all sorts of other civilized ills. The second half is you need to spend more time in nature. You need to get out here every day, uh, sometimes for days or weeks uh, at a time. And in order to go outside and get more out of nature, being civilized all your life, you're gonna be dazzled by the light leaving the cave. So we're gonna help you uh, learn how to get outside with craft and caution. So that's the field craft aspect. And then once you're out becoming, hey, I'm kind of lost. Anyway, a more socialized being and less civilized, you're going to be outside long enough to let your mind wander and get comfortable being alone with your thoughts, which is terrifying for most people, which is why they're constantly seeking to escape reality when they get bored or have to think about their own, uh, spend time with their own thoughts with things like drugs, alcohol, escapism, the internet. So, Uncivilized Vitality gives you a few things to start thinking about. We call these um, proverbs or 
philosophies. So uncivilized vitality has three parts. The five vital paths, the field craft, and the 13 proverbs that you can start thinking about. The whole point of the Uncivilized Vitality program or D program is to get you uncivilized, to help you get out of the cave and experience a world you might not even know existed. And just like in Plato's allegory of the cave, when you go back in and try to lead some people out, uh, they might not listen at first. Uh, they might even be angry that you tried to leave the cave or uh, especially if the cave or keeping you and others in the cave benefits them in some way. They're going to be angry you're doing that. Just persevere. Get out there. Help them get through that, that first uh, shock of the dazzling sunshine when you leave the cave and start to experience uh, reality uh, as you were meant to live. Healthy, happy. So I looked back to what humans did before civilization, before we were kind of locked into this cave. Uh, looking back to move forward, and I came up with a factor analysis of sorts and decided five vital paths, field craft, 13 proverbs. So that's uncivilized vitality. Look up Plato's allegory of the cave and substitute cave for civilization, and maybe that'll help. And then, yes, I'm going to make a shorter version of this. I can hear Caitlin and Rendell <laughs> right now telling me it was too long. I got it. What was that? See, that was six and a half minutes. That's not bad for me. All right. Um, Leave some comments below, like, share, subscribe, leaves us a thumbs up, and then uh, get outside or join us on one of the events and start learning how to get out of that cave. That's it.